What's up guys? What's up guys? Thank you all for watching again. And in this video, we're going to show you how much money you need to start up your Amazon business and how much money you need to invest. We're going to show you how much money we needed to pay up front when we started our Amazon business. So let's dive into it. So guys, we moved inside, it started to rain outside, so yeah, it's better to be inside over here. Um, so yeah, let's break it down. What costs do you have to make up front if you start selling on Amazon? And we broke it down in two, two steps, like the first one is what you really need to start selling on Amazon, and in the second part, we're going to tell what you can spend as extra to make it better, more special, and you are sure that you have to do products, and everything works perfectly. So yeah, first start, we're starting off with what you really need to start selling. And the first thing is a research tool. Of course, if you want to start selling on Amazon, you need to have a research tool so you're sure that you're going to sell a good product. We are using Jungle Scout and Jungle Scout has two options, a Chrome extension. And with the Chrome extension, you can see everything, what other sellers are selling. Uh, how much they are selling, what revenue they have, really good things you need to know. And they have a web app and on the web app you can dive in the database of Amazon and you see you can fill some uh, certain criteria and then uh, Jungle Scout will put down a list with every product what fills that criteria. The second one, like the, the web app, you don't really need to start but we really recommend that you have the Chrome extension. The Chrome extension will cost you $89, that's about 78 euros. That's what we really recommend, what you really need uh, first off to find yourself a good product. Okay, next off, you need a VAT number. And it depends in which country you are selling. If you live in the country where you're going to start selling, then you only need to register yourself as a company and you will get the VAT number. But if you are selling in another country, for example, we live in the Netherlands and we are selling in Germany, then we need a VAT number from Germany. And why is that? Well, it's a long story about how the VAT works, but you pay the VAT um, to the country where you store your products. So we ship our products to the Amazon warehouses in Germany. So our stock is in Germany, so we need to pay the VAT to Germany. And this VAT number costs us about 200 euros to get it. So yeah, that's something you need. So if you're going to start selling in the UK and you don't live in the UK, you need a VAT number from the UK. So yeah, that's what you need. So the next thing is your inventory. We always recommend to get like 500 products to start off with. And if you're going to sell products from 15 euros to 50, like in between that price range, normally you can buy it for at a supplier for about three euros. So if you're going to order 500 products, you will need 1500 euros to spend at supplier to get your products in. Next thing, barcodes. Uh, for every product you are going to sell, you need a unique barcode. I think you will probably see this on the internet a lot that people say, yeah, you can just buy uh, barcodes from eBay and you pay five, five dollars, five euros, and you get 10,000 barcodes. But Amazon says you need GS1 because they can delete your products or your listings if you use not the true barcodes they want you to use and they want you to use GS1. So yeah, we don't, didn't want to take the risk, so we just bought the GS1 barcodes. And yeah, you have a starting plan for 50 euros a year, and you get 10 barcodes, so if you're just starting off, yeah, you probably only need one or two barcodes. So yeah, just go with the certified ones, because it's just more sure, and you're certain that your products will just be good. And at the end, it's not, not a lot of money, like 50 euros a year, it's a great investment to be sure that everything will be okay. So guys, the next thing is your shipping. There are actually three options to get your products shipped to Amazon in Europe. You have sea shipping, train shipping, and shipping by air. We always say as a benchmark, 60% of the amount that you will spend in your inventory will be the amount that you have to pay for your shipping. It is still depending what option you choose for your shipment. For example, if you're going to choose for your first shipment, the sea shipment, it will be a little bit less. Train shipment will be around 60% and if you're going to choose for air shipment, it will be a little bit higher than 
but it's just a good benchmark always to put it on 60%. As well, it is depending on the weight and the dimension of your product. If you got a very heavy product or you got a very big product, you will pay more for your shipment than if you got a very small product that is very light. So 60% would be the benchmark, but if you're going to do sea shipping, it's a very small product and it's very light, you'll pay a lot less. If you got a very big product that is very heavy, and do the air shipment, then it will be a lot higher. So if we break it down for this example, it will cost us 900 euros for this shipment. And the next thing is your Amazon account. For your Amazon account, you will pay a monthly subscription of 39 euros. Then you will get your seller account and you can do everything from there. Make your listing, analyze your listing, do your advertising, check out the university. And it's one of the things that you really need when you're starting off your Amazon business. So then we got listing creation. Of course you can do it yourself. If you're from, for example, Germany and you're going to sell in Germany, you can type it yourself. But we would actually only recommend to type it yourself if you got a little bit of knowledge about content writing. Otherwise, you will always be able actually to find somebody on Fiverr who is professional and will write you the perfect SEO optimized listing for about 30 euros. So guys, then we got your product launch. Your products are getting into Amazon, Amazon checks the products and your listing will be online on Amazon. But of course you will rank very low because you will not be in once on number one. And there are multiple ways to do a product launch. But for example, if you're going to do giveaways and you will get your first sales from it and you will get your first reviews from it, what's actually one of the most important things, the reviews. And you're giving away, let's say, 10 products. You're selling for 20 euros. So let's say this will cost you 200 euros. So guys, this is actually everything that you really need to start your Amazon business. These are the necessary things and we will get on the total amount of 3,000 euros to invest and start off your Amazon business. If you got all these tools and if you just walk through all those steps, you're able to set up your Amazon business and these are already actually all the costs. But we do have some things that we really would recommend as well. So there are a couple of points where you can spend money on so you're really sure that everything is how you want it. Some of those points you can do yourself, but yeah, if you, if you pay the money for it to a company that, so that they do it, it will make things mu much easier and yeah, just more professional. So yeah, the first thing is getting samples. When you find yourself a good supplier, you don't know yet what the product is like and how the quality is. So we always recommend to just purchase at the supplier a couple of samples so you can feel the quality, see if it's everything how you want it. If you at the end make the order by them, then they will give you the money back you paid up front. So most of the time, uh, a sample order will cost you 150 euros. But if you at the end make the order by that supplier, you will get that money back most of the time. So yeah, that's a really good investment to make because you are sure if you get those couple of products in, that is exactly how you want it. So yeah, we really like to do that. So actually, when we just started off our Amazon business, we didn't got samples. The first time that we saw our own product was when it was listed on Amazon and we bought our own product. And that was the first time actually that we unpacked the product and saw how it looked like, saw the quality. But every time when we're starting off with a new product at the moment, we will do a sample because then we're just for sure that the product is good. It was quite a risky thing do not yeah. check the products before we started the whole production with a first order actually. Yeah, because then you don't know what it's going to look like and it can be really shit. And then you will get bad reviews and stuff like that. You don't want it. So it was a big risk. We got lucky, yeah. but yeah, don't take that risk. Another thing we like to do is purchase our competitor's product. So we like to the, the top three best sellers in our uh, keyword we like to purchase those products to see how they made it like how the quality is if we can like get to that quality as well because then you can lear learn a lot from from what your competitors do because they are selling really good already they have optimized their product already so yeah purchase those products and then just see what they are doing what the competition is doing and play a little bit with it so make your product better or at least as good as they are and yeah, if you sell products for about 20 euros, it will cost you only 60 euros and then you have all those products. You can use them as well, so that's also nice. And yeah, you just know what the competitor is doing. Then what we really like to do is when our manufacturer is busy with the process of creating our products, 
that we get a third party company, go to our manufacturer to check how the process is going, how the products are looking so far, if the sets are all good, if the logos are all right, if the quality is okay, if there are no things broken. That's really important to do because then we are certain that our products are okay. It will, will cost you about 150 euros. Yeah, we had some issues with this before, with products that weren't right or sets that weren't complete, and we don't want that anymore. So that's why we sent this company, this third party company, to our manufacturer to check everything. And it's always really good to do. So then we have photo creation. On our listing, we want to have really good images to get an outstanding listing. And if we've got an outstanding listing, people will be more likely to buy our products. So, if you're handy with a camera and if you're handy with Photoshop yourself, you can make your own pictures. But if not, we would definitely recommend to go to a company and this will cost you approximately 100 euros and then you're sure that you get really good product images. Yes, because people are really buying on images, especially the first time when you scroll into to a page on a certain keyword, they just look at pictures. And if your pictures are not good enough, then they won't click on your listing and they won't buy your product, of course. Yeah. So don't forget, it's really important to have good quality pictures. So if you don't trust yourself really with a camera or a Photoshop, please give it to somebody else and give them, give them those 100 euros to let them do it because then you're sure your product pictures are great. And yeah, you will just have more sales only by having great pictures. Yeah, yeah you will get a better click-through rate, you will get a better conversion rate. and. If you got more sales from it, your return on investment will be so high that it's definitely worth it. Yep. And then we got our Amazon advertising. We're actually just starting off straight away and we're filling in 5 euros per day on our advertising. And for one week this will cost you 35 euros. But in our opinion it's definitely worth it. You will get so much more impressions, so much more clicks and eventually so much more sales as well. You're ranking really low when you're starting off, so this will give you an opportunity to show already your listing to people while you're paying a little bit for it. Then for one week you're paying 35 euros, but we'll calculate in our product cost one euro per product for marketing and advertising and other opportunities on the internet. The total amount of what we would recommend to invest as well when you're starting off with Amazon is 495 euros. So you are able to start off your Amazon business, in our opinion, with 3,000 euros and you are sure that you are investing enough money to start up a good Amazon business. I mean, some people can say that you're able to start off with 1,500 euros, but in our opinion, it is possible. But if you want to build a sustainable Amazon business, start off with 3,000 euros. And if you really want to start a professional, invest those 495 euros as well. So maybe you're thinking now, you're watching this and you're thinking, okay, that's quite a lot of money, like 3,000 or even 3,500 euros you're going to spend. And it is a lot of money, but how we like to calculate is every euro we invest, we are going to make as a profit back. So if you're going to invest 3,000 euros, you will get the 3,000 euros of investment back plus 3,000 euros of profit, net profit. So what that means is that you just double your money with like when you sell out all of your products. And if you do that over and over again, you go from 3,000 to 6,000 to 12 to 24,000 and so on. And that's the amazing thing about this concept is that you really can double your money every time you do a new order. So don't be scared of this amount. It's a really good amount to start with. If you go to start with less, it will be a lot harder to make good profit and to scale your business. So we really recommend to start with this amount. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video.